Hey guys, Dakara here and welcome back to my channel and today we are on The Boys Season 1 Episode 7. The show is insane and I'm really enjoying the ride and I hope you guys are as well. If you are, please smash that like button and subscribe if you would be so kind. But as always, there's no pressure here. I have extended versions of everything you're seeing here on YouTube over on Patreon as well. So if you want to see these in the uncut form, please check it out and I hope to see you all there. Without further ado, let's roll the intro and get stuck into the reaction. Here we go. Oh, Christmas time. I guess I'm watching this at the right time. Jingle bell rock. Jingle bell swing and jingle bell ring. Who's been naughty? It is dead. This has got to be a flashback then, right? Because Translucent was there. Butcher. <gasps> Hello. Drinks are free, but the food's bloody awful. I hate to have for fuck's sake. Merry Christmas. Becca. Oh, shit. Uh, this is my husband, Billy. Great to meet you. Billy Butcher. Becca, you handled my takeover. Yes, I, I did. You saw it? What'd you take over? Vot's Twitter account. She posted my photos. She wrote my messages. <laughs> but you sipped them in there. Homelander's busy saving lives. I would love to talk to you about maybe quarterbacking the rest of my social media. Don't do it, Becca. Surround yourself with people smarter than you. This guy really does get under my skin. The actor does an incredible job. Does he walk around in that sweaty f suit all day long? Balls mashed up against oh, his leg. <laughs> it's good to know he's still got the same sense of humour. You've got to let him do what he wants to do. It, you can't control him, Butcher. Oh, oh, hello. This took a turn. Sheesh. Uh oh oh okay thought damage was gonna happen then well if that weren't confirmation that you were doing something right i don't know what was well done huey well done <laughs> why'd you bring me george huh hmm? well, not your place yeah sure my dad could make you some post-coital pizza rolls you're kind of a mystery to me that's hot right it's worrying i need to know that the hotel is a nice thing and not a red flag thing. It's a red flag thing. You can meet my dad, but you're gonna regret asking that. So everything's okay? Oh, it's great. The little voice crack was a red flag there. <gasps> Whoa. Oh, he does evil so well. What's a little bit weird about all these pictures is not one of them is behind the other person, you know, before they end up. Oh, he's he's twigged. He's friggin' twigged, guys. This is not good. This is not good. Now, I know this is not as swanky as New York City. That's your per diem. You get $75 a day. I mean, what about my crime itinerary? Not much crime in Sandusky. He's just being put out of the way so he can't do any harm. Deeper, a memoir. <laughs> Says it all. Says it all. Oh, yikes. Having withdrawals, are we? Your heart is getting bigger. Balls are getting smaller. That compound V is killing you. Back to the basics. Nobody gets back at my age. At least you'll still be breathing. Yeah, unlike your missus. And un unlike Robin as well. Just wanted to see your smiling faces. Take a seat, buddy. Starlight's gonna see Huey here now and freak the F out. Some of you have been a little out of sorts. Not you, Noir. You've been great. The enemies are storming the gates. We're not even the seven anymore. We're down to five. At least, now I know why. <gasps> here it is. Is this a joke? Why is Huey up there? He and Starlight are going steady. He's also one of the guys who killed Translucent. Wait, what? I mean, why would he do that? A-Train. 
Over to you. You killed Robin? I know this guy. And you did smash through his girlfriend, so I should hope so. Oh my god, my stomach is sunk. You're f***ing this guy? Okay, slow down. Huey is not capable of anything close to this. Well, that is true. What if he was helped? Like Butcher? Ezekiel, Root of the Deep. Whoa. whoa, whoa. Keep whoa. those hands down by your sides, Missy. They think she's in on it. You've been helping these one people. Queen Maeve, come on now. Shut your mouth, young lady. She obviously fell for this Hugh Campbell guy. And he's pumping her for information. So back off. Leave her alone. Thank you, Maeve. You must be something special. She is something special. Unlike you, you well, The last time Maeve gave a shit about... Well, gave a shit about anyone. She gave a shit about those humans on the plane that you let die. Do you remember that? The mother and daughter. Don't say I never do anything for you. This is... This is... I'm terrified. I'm literally terrified. She wants to know where you were. That's a compelling question. I don't think I can do this anymore. How do you expect to get out of it now? You're in it. He's been sneaking off to give her one at Lincoln Grand. You're wrong about her. That bitch is playing you. And you want too blind to see it. Right, so better to be loyal to a dead woman who doesn't know and doesn't care. How's that working out for you? Oh my god. Who's this? I thought you would recognize my voice. You spent so much time obsessing about me, am I right? No. Adrian, listen to me. Oh shit, if he's burned. No. Okay, so it's harmless. Let him go. My place is burned. They got me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Huey, alone. I got it. This has just gone from zero to a hundred real fucking quick she doesn't know it wasn't her she's never seen me before not once not ever so how did i get burned mesmer you f idiots had to go a mesmer oh my god this is getting so good <laughs> i came alone alone huh <laughs> you really did come alone is he on is he on v again John's in for a little jet fuel. What, what is that? I have a real dose hidden somewhere outside. Let him go. I hand it over. Then you can do whatever you want with me. Dad, time to go. Not without you. I am not leaving you with him, all right? You're just a kid. You're my kid. Dad. I'll be all right. I got this. This shit must be pretty good. If it's worth running through a human being for. That was an accident. That accident had a name. And what about Pop Claw? What is this, man? I kill your girlfriend and you kill mine? I didn't kill your girlfriend. You used her. You put her in danger. And then you threw her out like she was fucking garbage. What? How is he not seeing himself? So who's worse? Ah! Oh, you... Ooh. Oh, my God. Janine, honey, daddy's gonna take us on a sleepover. Can you help mommy pack your toys? Baby, we're running late. We don't have time to pack toys. Oh my god, this is getting so heated. Oh, please don't give me a weird scene again, you guys. I've just eaten. Hey, do you remember that marketing girl? Becca. Becca. What about her? Oh my god, she killed her. She's missing. What do you mean, missing? I mean, missing. She she's done something. It was. Oh my god. Is there any particular reason why you are asking all of these? Questions? Because you know everything, oh and you're acting like you don't. Maybe we could order in and catch up. <laughs> but you go be mommy. She knows she's not got him where she wants him now, because of this. You first. Those girls like this. Well, I'm not this girl. She's going to do something to him now. This is going to be for Starlight. Is she going to... Look at those gills. That's so... Now it's tender. Oh, God. Okay, that hurts. Oh, she's got a finger right in there. Mickey. No, I said it hurt. You little freak. Lady. Ah. Ow! Oh, my God. Oh, oh God. 
oh no this is something totally different i thought she was going to be all like oh, i'm going to take a lot of pictures of you and then but really she's just into something real weird real freaking weird i mean no kink shaming but i think gills are a push you know <laughs> why hello mesma you little snake Do. It was a Homelander! Your wife? She's missing? He just needs to touch uh, Madison's hand. Is it Madison or Madeline? It's Madison, right? Please, I have a daughter! No! <laughs> oh! Ah! No! Ah! Oh my god. Oh my god. I believe this was a few days after you met Homelander at that Christmas party. She was alone with him for three hours. Not long after that, Rebecca went missing and has remained so ever since. Mr. Butcher, I believe Homelander was involved. He's a f***ing superhero. You wouldn't believe what they get up to. So who's this chick? My name is Mallory. CIA. Please answer it, Annie. Please. If you want to talk, no. But would it kill you to make me one of those? Everyone always asks, what's our special weakness? People that you love. It's people. Got them loose. That way you're really bulletproof. That's so sad. How does it feel to be sexually assaulted then? The deep. Let me get you out of here. Oh, wait, 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 wait. So fucked up. <laughs> oh. Dad, I'm really sorry. Look at you. Standing up for yourself. Jinx. You said Rainer got cold feet. Yeah, that's what I said. I think Rainer's plenty interested. Only she didn't bring you Homelander's head on a plate and you blew the whole f thing up. How am I doing so far? Nailing it. Literally nailing it. This is going to be Mallory's family all over again, only this time it's going to be my family. And if something happens to them, Butcher. All he needed to hear then was, you don't want me to go through the pain that you're going through, right? <laughs> Please fix this. Oh, is this his dad? Oh, is dad being the expert, the scientist guy that was experiment on him? Yeah, you know. How long's it been, John? Long enough that no one calls me John anymore. You want to know about Rebecca Butcher? Why would it lead to what? Stillwell called me with quite an interesting challenge. She was pregnant with your child. God. So she died giving birth? Did she die giving birth? The baby clawed its way out of her. The blood loss. No one could have survived. She died on the table. Maybe. Lived all of 10 seconds. Why didn't you tell me? To protect you. When I raise subjects without their mothers, they become violent, downright hateful. You should have been raised in a home with a family who loved you. And yet, I turned out great. Oh, this episode is somewhere else. What do you want? What do you want? Forgiveness? Oh, you just have emotion. Do you raise me like a lab rat? I'm just an old man thinking about his mistakes. Pretty f big ones. Old man. You're my greatest failure. Damn. Now, calm down. Easy, lads. Easy. Family's gonna be okay. You have my word. Thank you. You are a human after all. Wow. Well, let's not get too carried away. And can Raina definitely be trusted? No Homelander. No Homelander. We had a deal. Do you want this or not? Oh, shit. Are you okay? I have to see you. I don't think that's such a good idea. You have to explain, Huey. You owe me that much. Oh, my God. You and your corporation are fucked. Unequivocally, unilaterally. How is that? Is that clearer for you? Yes, yeah, so Raina can be trusted. For the last half century, Raina. 
You have been feeding the American people the line that your superheroes are chosen by God. Jamming illegal drugs into babies' arms, I mean, that doesn't quite have the same ring. What do you want? For starters, there are no superheroes in the U.S. Armed Forces. I love the fact that she looks like she is shitting herself. We're done here. Everything okay, I hope? Uh-oh, what's she done? Watch this. Hey! Freeze, motherfucker! It's an atomic bomb. That's not all. It gets worse. He's gonna walk out. Yeah. How is that son of a bitch still alive? Are you telling me they have a soup terrorist? Okay. I don't feel ready for this, but you know, here we are. Back on the bench where it all started. Annie, I... Did you kill Translucent? Just be honest. <gasps> Explain! You're a murderer. You didn't have a choice. There is always a choice. You are the only thing that I could count. I'm still me, Annie, please. If you bring me in, I'm dead before sunrise. No, Vaught will want to string you up for a long trial. This is about Compound V. Compound V? It gives the soups their powers. What are you talking about? She's now realizing that she was made. We're born like this. No. I'm so sorry. Annie, Annie. Oh my god. Run, Joey. I'm so sorry. Who are you freaking coming here? I didn't ask for your help. Yeah, look like you had it all under control. Oh my god. I'm speechless. That episode was insane. It was insane. I can't get my brain to work, to like function, to say words. Um, where do I begin? So Annie and Huey, obviously not going too well right now. No shocker there really, because it started on a poor note, grew to something special, but when it started on such a shitty note, it's never really gonna end that well. I do think that there's still hope there if they really talk it out. But everything's so heated right now because it's so fresh. I don't think now would be the right time anyway. I do feel for Annie a lot because she just keeps getting lied to. And then to top it all off, your whole existence is a lie now. Because she just thought, I'm born this way. I'm extremely special. Wait, no, you were drugged as a baby. So surprise <laughs> it's just so messed up so messed up and again as much as i care for annie i do feel for huey as well because he was just in awe of these soups he thought that they were amazing and the best things ever just looked up to them so much to then have his missus killed in front of him in his own arms by someone that he was such a massive fan of and then it's just gone from extremely awful to deeper and deeper and deeper into this shithole that he's now in. The nice moment I found was with Huey and his dad in this one because I feel as though his dad was a bit shitty at the beginning. Like he just, he just didn't seem to really listen to Huey or take him seriously and everything was sort of brushed off. And then in this one, when he said he was proud, I was just like, yes. Finally, I feel like this is something that Huey needs to hear right now and just to keep him focused on the task at hand because it's so much bigger than his issue now. It is worldwide. So much happened in this one friggin' episode, like the Mesmer thing, that scene when Butcher was just hammering his face into the sink. <gasps> Can we not? And then not just that, we had the whole like Becca backstory as well. Apparently the baby was killed, drowned in his mother's blood. I don't buy that. I do think that the baby of Becca's isn't dead. That's what I think. So how long was it? Eight years. So the baby must be around eight years old. No, actually, because they said that the baby was growing stupidly fast. So it could already be grown up by this point. Oh my God, this is getting so interesting so so interesting amazing show i hope you guys enjoyed my reaction i do apologize if i've missed anything key there was so many points in this like um 
MM saying goodbye to his family, Queen Maeve stepping up for Starlight, etc, etc. So many points in this, but I'm just too hyped at the minute. If you enjoyed my reaction, please give this video a cheeky thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you would like to. But as always, there's no pressure here. I live stream on Twitch every Friday and Saturday and sometimes more. And it's an awesome community there. So I'd love to see you. all of my socials and any links are in my description. So please check them out and come and join me on other platforms. And yeah, I hope to see you for the next reaction. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.